Hi, I'm Sanjay Nagchowdhury, Development Lead for the IBM AppConnect Enterprise team. In this video, I will demonstrate how to configure authorization aspects of administration security in AppConnect Enterprise version 11 so that I can configure what actions a user can perform on an integration server. I will be demonstrating this using an integration node, but the same configuration can also be applied for an independent integration server. I'm using a Linux system and I already have an integration node. In my previous video, I configured the integration node to use basic auth and HTTPS so that a user ID and password must be supplied in order to perform administrative tasks. I will update the configuration of the integration node so that I specify a role for a user ID and configure what tasks can be performed on different integration servers for that role. First, I will create a user ID called admin, which uses a role called Sanjay role. The integration node can be configured using a configuration file called node.conf.yaml. This is located in $mqsi registry slash components slash name of integration node. I will edit the file node.conf.yaml. I will specify admin security is active for authorization and the authorization mode is file. The file has a section for configuring authorization for admin security. You can add stanzas for your integration servers and specify what permissions are available to each role. In this example, I'm configuring Sanjay role to have read-only access to server one and full access to server two. I'll save and close the file. I must stop and start for integration node for the changes to take effect. After logging on the web UI, I can see both integration servers. I have read-only access to server one, so I cannot deploy a bar file to it. If I attempt to deploy a bar file, I am shown an error. I am able to deploy the bar file to server two as the role that I'm assigned has full access to server two. I see the same behavior in the toolkit. I'm unable to deploy a bar file to server one, but I am able to deploy it to server two. In this video, I have shown how to configure authorization aspects of administration security in AppConnect Enterprise version 11, so that I can configure what actions a user can perform on an integration server. I was unable to deploy a bar file to server one, but I was able to deploy a bar file to server two.